Hi everyone. Today we're going to be cutting back some rosemary plants. Hey everyone, hey it's Diane from Diane Mom Garden Videos. Rosemary is an evergreen shrub and they are hardy from zone 8 to the south. Okay. In my area they're just an annual. But in some areas they're a perennial and they get really big and bushy. I've never seen rosemary bloom, but they have, I guess, different shades of blue color, which would be really fascinating to see. They like a sunny location, a sandy loam soil, well-drained to thrive outside. You can even plant these in pots. They like six to eight hours of sunlight. They thrive in humid locations. That'll do great here because we got humidity. But they cannot take extreme cold temperatures, and with our winters here, I can't winter them. So I got to, I either got to grow these from seed every year, or I just like this year I've seen these plants and I purchased them. Did you know that rosemary repels flies and mosquitoes? Did you know that? It's an interesting fact. As you see, I'm just going to be trimming these back. Just take them and cut them back above the, the two leaf sections. This will help your plant come in much fuller. It will make a much better looking plant. Since they have such a pungent smell, they drive away bugs, including the cabbage moss, which is really, that's a really interesting fact. I use them for cooking. I love putting them on our beef roast. Excellent, excellent. Adds really good flavor to them. So this one, as you can see, I'm going to be cutting this back right here too. Just take and trim it back. And these are all the side shoots already. We're just going to do some cutting. And I will dry these. Um, I did put some fresh the other day and that was very, very good. But we're just going to trim this all down. I'm not going to put them outside yet because we got some cold weather coming. But see, you go from this to this. These guys really thrive in hot, dry weather. And you can see where I'm cutting. But I'm cutting them pretty good. I'm giving them a really good haircut. I just love the smell of rosemary. It's so strong. So look at that. That looks, it's going to grow in nice and pretty and full now. Got one more to do. Hi, buddy. Can you see I got a friend? <laughs> does it smell good check that out does that smell good so I'm just going to continue to cut here so I would encourage you to grow rosemary in your garden it's one of the most beneficial herbs you can grow and I think that you enjoy it immensely in your garden so look at those now and here is what I have to dry. Look at that. Nice. And I can also use them fresh. I'm just going to leave them in this tray. They should dry nice in this tray. And also I've dried them in cardboard flats, which work, has worked really good. So if you're ever in doubt of how to trim your rosemary, this is how you can do it. These aren't even in the garden yet, but they will be within... Within the next couple weeks, I'll have them in my garden. I'll be making an herb garden. And I think this will be fun. I just wish they wintered here. That would be ideal. But they do not. They can be brought indoors, though, in a sunny window. And that is something you can think about also, putting them in a sunny window indoors if they do not winter in your area. But, oh boy. So smells so wonderful. I hope this does get you thinking about growing herbs. I hope this encourages you to trim back your plants and they're very easy. It's very easy to do and you can dry these, put them in a jar, put them up in your cupboard in the dark and you can use them for whenever you, whatever you want to use rosemary for. I know people use them with chicken too and I've done that also. So thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.